What's up, y'all? It's Papa Long List. I'm going to talk about the hottest MCU list that MTV2 put together. They had Charlemagne the God on there, Nick Cannon, uh, Tax Stone, Kerry Sylvan, Civil. They had Joe Budden on there, and they put together the list. I don't know the other people on the show. I think they had B-Dot. You know, he works with Rat Radar, whatever. But, all right, number 10, they got 21 Savage. 21 Savage, I see why they put him on here. I think he had a, he lot, he had a lot of hits this summer, you know. I ain't got nothing to say about him. But then they got Little Uzi Vert. Little Uzi Vert. I like him. He like a turn up rapper, you know. I don't think I don't think his raps are that good, you know. His part on Bad Bougie is the most annoying part of all time. Yeah, 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 yeah. These bitches bad to the bone. Hey, these niggas watching me, they be like my clone. I had to skip his part all the time, and I don't think he had that much hits. I mean, he had a lot, he got a big fan base, okay? All right, Kenny Lamar, number eight. He might well kept this nigga off the list, man. That's disrespectful to have him at number eight. Like, he put out that untitled album. That's it. But keep him off the list, man. He shouldn't be no number eight. Because if Kendrick Lamar drop a song, everybody going to go crazy. All right, so number seven is YG. YG, I love YG. Just Read Up 2 is a great-ass mixtape. My Crazy Life was a good album, but I was not excited for a second album. I think he dro just dropped another one. And I, I didn't really feel anything from YG this year. I hate that song. Please, why are you always hating? I, I didn't really like the song, and I'm a YG fan. And I, I wasn't even excited for the second album. I, I didn't really like the Donald Trump song, you know. I liked the message, but I didn't really like the song. It was just so basic to me, you know. And I think that reason why YG on here, because his manager was on there. Karen, um, Karen Silva is his manager, so they she threw his ass on there, I guess. All right, so number six is Future. Future, I see why he'd be on this list, you know, but I didn't really like that many Future songs this year, to be honest. And number five, Young Thug. Young Thug put out a lot of mixtapes this year. He had hits on them, but not the whole album wasn't really listenable, you know, but I see why he'd be on here. Travis Scott, he yeah, he deserved to be on here. I ain't got nothing to say about Travis Scott. Number three, Chance the Rapper. His album, The Color and Book, me personally, I didn't really like it, but I see why people liked it, you know, it's a positive message, but I couldn't get through the whole album like that, you know, it wasn't, you know, that great to me, but I know why people would like it. Number two on here is Drake, um, I don't see why he number two, to be honest, you know, I'm a Drake fan, they used to call me Drake over everything at work, but the Views album was is very overrated to me, I bought the album, and... I got to skip a lot of songs on there. I hate them singing songs, but, you know, Drake known for singing, but them songs are just, you know, too much for me. So I don't think he should be number two, you know. And number one is Kanye West. The Life of Pablo was was great, but I don't see why he's number one. Like, he should be, like, number two or three. Like, why is J. Cole missing off this list? I know they just did this list, like, like this week or last week. J. Cole album came out on the... Like, knife. So, why is J. Cole missing off this list? Like, this don't make no sense. J. Cole dropped one song, and it's better than half the rappers on here. Like most of the rappers on here. Um, yeah, man, I think this list is crazy. You know, hottest MCs in the game. I'm glad they left Lil Yachty off there. Um, I understand why Gucci Mane ain't on there. Gucci Mane dropped a lot of stuff. He worked hard, but it's hard to listen to his album to me. And... No Kevin Gates. I don't think he dropped the album this year. He dropped one last year. It's no Kodak Black on his, on this list. I think Kodak Black should have been on here at least number 10 or something, you know. But, yeah, man, this list should have had J. Cole or Kodak Black. Who else they missing off here? Like, this list is crazy, man. But I wonder how you guys feel about it. Me, I just feel like they got these people too high up, man. And... Drake should have like Drake shouldn't be number two. Yeah, but I wanna know how you guys feel about it. Oh, what about Logic? Did he do anything this year? He should be on the list.